Why, why the Navy, Ed? What made you? I mean, you could have gone anywhere at that point. The world is your oyster. Why the Navy? Uh, well, didn't have, you know, my dad was in the Air Force. My uncle was in the Air Force. Right. Um, then, let's see, my stepdad was in the Marine. Okay. And I was like, and what people don't realize, and I didn't realize at the time, the Marine Corps is Department of the Navy. So you're okay. really part of the Navy. Mm -hmm. um, they're all connected. Air Force and Army have joint bases together. I just wasn't, it was the first thing I went to, and it was, you know. Okay. It just happened to work out. They were at my school. I was talking to them. They said I could be a corpsman. I could go delayed in. It was, you know, work. Nobody else would give me the same thing. So they did at the time. Right. Because we asked that same question on my other podcast called Helping the Brave. Why did you yeah. pick that service? Right. Right. And for me, it just worked out because I took my son when he went to join. He wanted to be a medic and he saw the Air Force. They wouldn't guarantee him anything. And then we went to the Army. They on the spot would guarantee what he wanted. And he went airborne and he's like, should I check out the Navy? I'm like, no, you will not be lucky like me and not be on a ship. So right. Right, right, that was the right. one thing it's like i was the only guy i know that got in the navy and never been on a ship yeah, here you go <laughs> no one would believe you right <laughs> no but i made sure i didn't you know because when i went to when they asked me what specialty school i wanted to go to yep. um you know before i went I, I don't know if i said it but i said what was not on a ship and they said physical therapy and that's why i picked that one so. <laughs> guy good strategy